Well, most people have accepted the fact that Joe Biden's border is a disaster. Now, Republicans and Democrats in Congress are in a funding conflict over whether or not this continued resolution can move forward. Republicans say, we're not doing anything until the border is secured. Democrats say, we're not doing anything until we figure out more funding for Ukraine. Yeah, Democrats go figure. They're putting more value in Ukraine funding than actually securing our own border. Now we go to Corinne Jean-Pierre at the White House who says, look, the Biden administration wanted to put more border agents down at the border, but Republicans are the ones who stopped them. We actually voted on pieces of legislation to take away uh, some of the law enforcement, the CBP, right, at the border. That's what they voted on in back in May. So hold on, Corinne Jean-Pierre. I mean, I know you like lies, sweet little lies, but let's actually do a little fact check here. Let's go to the Washington Post, a liberal outlet. They actually say this is complete spin and a total lie. So this article in the Washington Post is from Glenn Kessler from January of 2024, saying there's a big problem with what the Biden administration is saying regarding 2,000 agents that Republicans voted to strip away from the border. Uh, it's actually not based on an actual vote on Homeland Security or the Homeland Security budget. Instead, it's a White House estimate, he says, on the impact of a bill the House passed in 2023 as an opening bid in budget talks with the Biden administration. So when it came to actual votes on border security, the House, which is made up of a majority of Republicans back in September of 2023, passed an appropriations bill that funded an additional 1,795 Border Patrol agents. So, Corinne Jean-Pierre, who's lying now?